Also, she'll have snacks. Healthy snacks, but snacks. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Are our stem cells. Remember I said that we formed in a womb with stem cells? Yeah. Well, when we're born, we have extra stem cells left over that were not used. So it's kind of like painting a room. Uh, if you're painting a room and you're going to buy paint, right? You always buy extra paint because the last thing you want to do is to run out of paint before you finish the job. What do you do when the, when the room has been completed from painting? You've got extra cans of paint. So what do you do? You put the cap on, you put it in your garage, okay, uh, for, for another time if you need to spot check. Well, this is actually what happens with our stem cells. When we're born uh, and our organs have formed with all these stem cells, the overage and we've got extra stem cells. In fact, we've got 750 million extra stem cells when we're born. That gets packed up into our bone marrow where it basically sits for most of our lives until we need to repair our organs from the inside out. So regeneration, our ability to be able to renew ourselves is another health defense system. Dr. William Lee, a distinguished medical doctor, researcher, and author of two influential books, explores the profound impact of food on health. His extensive research is dedicated to understanding how food can promote stem cell regeneration and enhance overall well-being. Dr. Lee has led trailblazing studies exploring how specific nutrients and compounds in food can activate stem cells, enhancing their regenerative capabilities. Today, we'll be sharing recipes for snacks that are not only easy to prepare, but also incorporate ingredients recommended by Dr. Lee for their stem cell supporting properties. These snacks are designed for convenience, some can be made ahead of time for quick grab and go options, while others can be stored in the freezer and simply thawed in the refrigerator the night before for an effortless afternoon snack. Stay tuned as Dr. Lee introduces the first ingredient in our first snack recipe, providing insights into how it supports stem cell regeneration and contributes to a nourishing start to your day. Let's get started. The first ingredient for our stem cell snack is goji berries. Oh. A quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it, if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Snacks. <laughs> goji berries also can actually reprogram stem cells. And goji berries, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's one, of, it's one of those continuum, like, you know, you hear, these days you hear a lot about these medicinal um, foods that have been used in Asia for years, like cordyceps mushrooms, which I saw in the marketplace the other day. It's really cool. Um, but goji berries are something uh, very common as an herbal medicine. And I think that one of the things that we need to remember is that when we're borrowing and exploring uh, fascinating food substances that have been used traditionally for thousands of years as medicine in other cultures, we should be just a little cautious that this doesn't mean that we can just be playing around with the substance. But goji berries, you know, which I, you know, I love to put goji berries in tea. Um, if you if you mix it with goji berries with tea, put a date, you know, a dried date in there. Uh, put some uh, chrysanthemum flower in there. You kind of create this really nice herbal tea. Tea. You can put um, oolong tea or black tea. You know, so you can you can you can actually find ways to. Um, extract some of these natural substances. Goji berries have um, bioactives like uh, lutein and zeaxanthin, which is good for your vision. Um, but some of these substances also reprogram your fat stem cells as well. A pro tip, if they seem a little dry, soak them in a bit of water for a few minutes before adding them to your snack. They'll plump up and add a juicy texture. The next ingredient in our first stem snack is mangoes. They come in a range of sweetness levels. So choose one that perfectly complements your taste buds. There are foods that just can actually automatically boost our immune system by themselves. Mm -hmm. One of them is mango. You know, I love mangoes. They're juicy, sweet, filled with fiber. They got lots of vitamins and they also have bioactives. And, and I call them mango, by the way, mangoes and stone fruit, grand slammers of foods. These are foods, a whole table of foods I have in my, um, in my uh, book that all activate all five um, uh, defense systems at the same time, including the immune system. So you can slam it out of the park by eating these foods. Mango is one of my favorites. Tasty, juicy, sweet. You get vitamins, good minerals, and it actually contains these natural bioactives that actually can help boost your immune system. Up next are pistachios. These little green nuts are a great source of healthy fats and protein, keeping you feeling satisfied throughout your snack. When we feed our gut bacteria with healthy foods that they like, like dietary fiber, our bacteria 
make our immune system perform better. And nowhere is this more important than when you're actually fighting cancer. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, ca uh, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. Here is the first stem cell snack, one tropical bowl with a superfood boost. Ingredients, frozen blackberries, goji berries, almond or nut milk, honey optional, diced mango, sliced peaches, and chopped pistachios. Blend together frozen blackberries and a handful of fresh goji berries with unsweetened almond milk and a touch of honey for sweetness. Pour the ingredients into a bowl and top with diced mango, sliced peaches, and a sprinkle of chopped pistachios. To easily shell pistachios, use one shell to pry open another, making it simple to access even the most stubborn nuts. Snack, Snack time! <laughs> Up next, Dr. Lee tells us a little about kale, an ingredient in our next snack. Check this out, kale, right? Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs. They uh, create sulforaphanes, and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has its good source of dietary fiber. Next is blueberries. Fresh or frozen work great. Blue comes from blueberries. Their beautiful blue color comes from a natural dye called anthocyanin. That's an antioxidant that protects your DNA, helps build your immune system, and also improves your metabolism as well. Next ingredient, flaky seafood. Number two, there's another fat that you should know about that's found associated with protein. That's in seafood, and that's omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s also help our stem cells regenerate. They prompt our body to stay renewed, which is important for aging. Where do you get omega-3s? Well, besides salmon and anchovies and mackerel and sardines, you hear about that a lot. It turns out many, many, many different kinds of seafoods and even seaweeds actually edible seaweeds that actually have omega-3. So one of the things that I write about in my new book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, is leaning into that seafood section of the grocery store, which, you know, some people already like seafood, but some people aren't familiar. And I want to take people's apprehension away to say, dive in there because there's a lot of great stuff. That's a secret to longevity as well. It turns out in many of the blue zones and in many places where people live to a ripe old age, they eat reasonable amounts of seafood regularly. Olive oil is next. Remember, a little goes a long way. Well, it turns out that extra virgin olive oil turns out to be really helpful for our stem cells. It protects our stem cells as we age. And not surprisingly, in the blue zones, those parts of the world where people live really to healthy, ripe old ages, over 100, for example, centenarians, they tend to eat olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, which, by the way, comes from a plant. It's a plant-based healthy fat. And now the second stem cell snack, too. Deconstructed salad with a seafood twist. Ingredients. Chopped kale and your favorite chopped collard greens. Blueberries. Flaked seafood. Your choice of salmon. Anchovies. Mackerel. Sardines. Seaweeds which are high in omega 3s and olive oil. Layer chopped kale and chopped collard greens. Add a sprinkle of fresh blueberries and some cooked flax seafood like salmon, anchovies, mackerel, sardines, and seaweed. Drizzle a touch of olive oil and a squeeze of lemon juice. Blend the dried seaweed using a coffee grinder, store it in a small jar, and sprinkle it on anything you would normally season with salt. Now, let's move on to our next stem cell recipe. Next ingredient is super easy to prepare, edamame. By sharing these authentic edamame. I, I also want to point out, particularly as people are getting older, that soy in its whole form, like edamame, or its fermented forms like tofu and tempeh, mm -hmm. um, etc., they're good sources of protein as well. And, you know, mm -hmm. we talk about all the bioactives and all that stuff, 
But let's not forget about the fact that we need good, healthy intake of protein. That's something that is so important as we age mm. to have the proper amount. You know, you don't want to overload yourself on protein, but you also don't want to ignore some of these plant-based foods. You know, people go, well, you know, if you're telling me not to eat red meat, well, I'm not going to be having that much protein. Wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, soy foods, nuts and legumes, great sources of healthy proteins uh, as well. So let's not forget about that. Here is the third stem cell snack. Three, eat a mame with a spicy kick. Ingredients, eat a mame, chili flakes, and chopped watercress. Steam or boil a cup of eat a mame until tender. While hot, sprinkle with a pinch of chili flakes and a sprinkle of chopped watercress. By the way, when cooking with chili flakes, sprinkle them towards the end of cooking to retain their heat and vibrant flavor in your dishes. Now, let's move on to the next ingredient in our final stem cell snack recipe. Yummy, yummy. Oh. Almonds next. These little nuts are a protein and healthy fat powerhouse and now a touch of indulgence. Dark chocolate. Next are peaches. Look what I found here. I found some roasted almonds. Another great choice for your metabolism. Now I'm going to throw one last kind of delight and surprise that can help your stem cells, which help to rebuild your brain and your heart and your muscles, actually is dark chocolate. Turns out chocolate's a candy. Okay, it's a confection. But to make dark chocolate, you have high amounts, 70%, 80%, 90% cacao. Cacao is actually from a seed pod, the cacao plant. And that's a plant-based food. It turns out there's natural chemicals, bioactives in cacao made in dark chocolate at high concentrations that help our stem cells come out and rebuild our muscles, our circulation, many other parts that need to be renewed. And as we get older, one of the things we want to do is we want to continuously be renewed rather than broken down. These are some of the ways that we think about diet and longevity. Feel free to keep the skin on for extra fiber or peel it for a smoother texture. Hey there, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite fruits. This is a peach, one of my favorite summer fruits, juicy. You can smell the fragrance. The peach actually comes from Asia. Uh, actually was transplanted and transported along the Silk Road. And it's got chlorogenic acid. This is actually a bioactive that uh, actually does a lot of things. It um, cuts off the blood supply to tumors, it actually helps to protect stem cells, your health defenses. Also good for gut health, and it's also got a good amount of dietary fiber. Uh, but the interesting thing about chlorogenic acid is it actually helps your metabolism by fighting body fat. So you can activate your good fat and fight your bad fat using chlorogenic acid. Plus, it's just a juicy, great fruit to select during the summer. What you want to do is you want to smell it, and it should actually smell really good. And by the way, Yellow peaches actually tend to be a little bit sweeter and juicier than white peaches, but white peaches are also delicate and great. Dr. Will Lee out. Now, the fourth stem cell snack for dark chocolate and berry bites. Ingredients, mashed dates, almond butter, chopped blueberries, or dried blueberries, melted dark chocolate, and chopped pistachios. Combine mashed dates with a dollop of almond butter and chopped blueberries. Roll the mixture into bite-sized balls and drizzle with melted dark chocolate. Optionally next roll into chopped pistachios. This recipe is perfect for preparing a large batch in advance. Freeze individual portions for a convenient grab and go snack option. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.